What is going on, everybody? Today, we're talking a bit about all of the combat changes in Ashes of Creations Alpha 1. As talked about in the live stream, they were introducing a new update that changed a lot of the back-end combat stuff. So it would work better with server performance and give them the ability to add certain abilities that they are working on and all of that. Although a lot of the combat as a whole has not yet been implemented, we are starting to see a lot of small changes into it, including passive abilities, which were teased in the live stream. But now I have the full cleric and mage passive trees right now i didn't get to play the tank i will jump in and grab that and do a quick video for the tank passive abilities the next time i get on the servers probably but anyways diving into it so keep in mind this is all subject to change a lot of these passives this is their first iteration in the game so like they're gonna go off feedback from these now and take them and tweak them and they're gonna grow and expand as the classes grow and expand because right now we only get up to level 15 and there are already four tiers of passive passive abilities. For those of you who may not know for some reason, passive abilities are ways to alter your character and how your character plays. Their stats and stuff may be affected. Most of them aren't directed towards the character spells that you have, but the, your character's stats as a whole, like mana regen and healing and things like that, which I guess would tie into their spells. But anyway, so for the cleric, the tier one and by tier, I mean, so think of a talent tree. The first tier is the ones you first put points in when you put enough points into that and unlocks the second tier and then the third tier and then so on. There was actually a little bug. I don't think it's intended to be this way though, but when I put in the points into my spells, it also unlocked the tiers in the passives. So that might change. But anyways, the cleric tier one has increased healing as one of the passives that you can put points into and increased mana regen. Tier two increases your max mana as a whole hole by a certain amount of number, obviously changing depending on how many points you put into it. Increases health regen, increases critical hit chance with damage and healing, and that's it for tier two. All those three separate things you can put points into as you level up and unlock points to, like I said, alter how your character plays. Tier 3 gives you an increased max health and an increased defense mitigation. And then tier 4 reduces the chance of being disabled by crowd control, reduces all ability cooldowns, and increases movement speed. So like nothing like stand out a sheer. It's things you've come to expect with passive abilities in Ashes. It's the way I'm looking at this is look at like the WoW classic talent trees. So instead of having all these talents that unlock abilities and also buff the abilities or buff your passives, things like that, in one tree, they're spaced out into separate trees and you earn separate points for each one to put into it. So it's not really, these trees aren't deriving massively from anything else in any other games they're just separated a bit which i'm okay with and again it's alpha so a lot of this down the road could change because you're gonna have class combinations and this is only the level 15 so it's just getting your basics in going on to the mage passives these are pretty much the same as a cleric a couple alter here and there but it's the same idea so tier one increases attack damage and increases mana regen which tier one for the cleric also had the mana regen and increased healing but you gotta think cleric is meant to be a healing class mage is meant to be a dps class so it makes sense to change that up but basically gives you the same idea tier two increases damage from critical hits increases health regen and increases critical hit chance tier three increases max health and increases defense mitigation so tier three is the exact same between the cleric and the mage tier four increases the chance to disable crowd control effects reduces all ability cooldowns and increases movement speed again the same as the cleric so again this is the very first time passives have been implemented so i don't expect these to be even close to final form and i would like to see them changed up a little bit more between the different classes i I haven't played the tank yet as i've said so i don't know what theirs are but we'll find out but i can probably guess it's going to be pretty similar and i can almost expect that for tier one would be increasing mana regen and increasing defense because you know tanks need to defend i could be wrong that's not actually official but we'll find out next time i log in and make a tank anyways moving on to how the combat feels there isn't like i said this is mostly changing the back end so the stuff that steven talked about in the live stream like the reticle lighting up based on what you're pointing at is in um that was actually kind of bugged so if you're standing right next to an enemy the reticle just kind of like didn't acknowledge that that was the enemy you're attacking for some reason but in action combat you can also tab cycle through targets as well which i don't know if was intended but it was still very handy especially with the reticle being a little iffy i did notice i don't know 
what they changed, but oh, just combat in general seemed a bit smoother, just fighting other enemies. It didn't seem as clunky as it had before. That could just be me, that could just be something in my head. I played more on the mage just because mage updated the wand attack and added a new animation that had like these purple and red sparks going everywhere and it was really cool looking and the mage wand attack was extremely overpowered so it was really fun to just go through like i could didn't have to use any of my other mage abilities i could just use that wand and wand attack whatever enemy i was fighting and it was basically if it was a non-elite enemy it was dead before it even ran up to me so it was pretty cool obviously probably not intended and that will probably get tweaked more for balancing down the road otherwise like to me i didn't do any healing so i don't th i don't think anything healing wise changed anyways but again, the cleric felt the same. The mage is a little bit more OP, but this was back in implementation. So this is not all of the combat changes. And I don't think we're gonna see the final rendition of this combat until we hit into the early betas of the game anyways. And even then it'll still be tweaked because I mean, everything still gets tweaked. WoW's classes still get tweaked. Here we are 15 years later. So, you know, nothing is ever final in an MMO. But anyways, that was just, just wanted to make a quick video for you guys with my thoughts on these combat changes in the alpha. I'm going to do more videos as more changes get implemented. Within a week and a half, the NDA is dropped, so you'll be able to see these changes for yourselves, and I'll actually be able to give you some visuals when talking about the passives and things like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the combat changes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you're new to Ashes, feel free to use my referral link in the description. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.